What's good, y'all? So, I was just basically coming on here to let y'all know that uh, uh, we are possibly not going to be able to really give the show like we posted tonight um, because of the whole little strike thing. You know what I'm saying? I had read that it was telling me basically that um, basically we're not even going to be able to go live for like seven days and all kind of other shit. So, you know. I don't even want to have to bring, I don't even want to have to stop the show or, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to have to, like, if they try to, like, interrupt the show while we getting into it, you know, it's just crazy. Because, you know, this is my, you know, my job. This is what I do every day. So it's literally crazy. It's crazy how the fuck that shit just happened. But I literally knew it was going to happen. I've been, you know, trying to figure out ways around it and trying to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, this shit didn't happen. But that's what the fuck it is so we will not be um basically giving they said can we go live on another platform um yeah i'll probably do station head or something like that um that'll probably be the only way to uh you know do it or whatever so it is what it is i mean i don't know what to say i don't want to play any music i don't want to play anything that's going to get us in you know what i'm saying in any more trouble so i would rather just you know what i'm saying let this shit go through try to contact who i got to contact do what i got to do because you know i have others i have other videos on my channel and when you have other videos on your channel and they're just like that one then that means i can get other strikes you know what i'm saying so that shit is crazy they said please drop the station head link on my community tab i definitely will i definitely will but yeah i'm really pissed because i had a really really great show planned today but the the strike will also mess up the algorithm. It will it's gonna mess up a lot of what how we get down over here. So, you know, it's just not gonna be able it's not gonna be as fun. I'm not gonna be as intrigued to do the show. So yeah, we're going to be probably gone for probably about a couple of days. You know, it'll be a couple of days, but I will be uh streaming the bar party um on Sunday on my Instagram. So yeah, I got you. They said try Rumble TV. Okay, I'm definitely try that. You got to send me that link. Please send me that link. Please send me the link. But yeah, so hey, Miss Lakey, how you doing? But yeah, I'm just really, really pissed off, y'all. So yeah, if you got channels and y'all got, you know what I'm saying, y'all even even the shorts, even anything, just just make sure that you know what I'm saying. They are really out here trying to take down the black channels, like especially the Nicki Minaj channels because the one the video that was taken down is so crazy because it was a short like how the fuck could you get how you get a strike over a over a, a, a damn short a short yeah not how crazy that is to get a strike over a short man that's that I mean like I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, I'm not even, like, when I tell you, I'm just not in a good mood. Like, I'm so fucking mad because I literally had everything planned like I wanted, you know, I had it all planned out. So, and it's like, all my plans today just been fucked up. I literally had this show planned out. And something kept saying, don't do it, don't do it. So. Yeah, Miss Lake, you might want to take it down because you never know. You never damn know. Like, it seems like they are targeting Nicki Minaj channels because the video that was taken down was a video of Nicki Minaj talking like literally Nicki was talking with beat with um with whole lot of money in the background it was whole lot of money in the background in the background of the video thank you so much and I appreciate you. you listen you guys can still support while you can because I don't know what's going to happen um I don't know what's going to happen in the, you know in a couple of hours or whenever they decide to you know, not let me go live or whatever. So this would be the time to, you know, if you want to support the show, support the show. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you, but it's just, it, this really, really makes me so mad y'all because like I said, this is my motherfucking way of life. Not my way of life, but this is what I like to do every day. This is my hobby. This is my job. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is what I do. So for me to literally go through this shit out of nowhere, not out, not, a, not from a video that I premiered with that's monetized, from a video that was not even monetized. The video was not even green. So how in the hell could you do that? I'm not getting no revenue. I'm not doing anything. So whoever did that, that's so wrong because 
I'm not making no money from the shit. It's a fucking short of Nicki Minaj on stage. So if you if it was somebody that recorded the video and you got mad and you a fucking barb, you lame as hell. You are lame as fuck. Whoever you are, you are lame of. And you got to be a barb because if it was your content, then that means you were at the Nicki Minaj concert and you see, like, come on, man, stop playing with me. Stop playing. Like, for real, stop playing. Because I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. Hold on. Oh, wait, I got to I gotta log in on here. Yeah, you ain't gonna get no, you, they, they're not gonna send out no notifications, Momo, because of the strike. The strike is, the strike literally takes all that stuff away. It takes us literally out of the algorithm every single time. That's what it, that's what it does. So yeah, I really just gotta find a way also to um, do the music thing, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna let Rello say some things and I'm about to pull this up. Hold on, I'm checking to make sure I ain't got no shirt. This is crazy. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Like, what in the world? Okay, so I'm going to show y'all the strike. Okay. Let me show y'all real quick. So y'all don't think that I'm just, I'm just saying this out of nowhere. I'm not, this is, this is true, true tea. Okay. This is true tea. A whole strike. I've never had a strike on that on this channel ever, ever. I always make sure to do the content the way that it's supposed to be done every single time. I make sure to do that. So I don't even know how in the hell a video. OK, I only want to play the video. But as you see, you've seen this video uh, many times on the Internet. Right. This video has been surfaced over. I've seen it every single place. So how in the hell that it's on here and it's a problem. So if it was 10 seconds, it would have been a problem? I don't think so, because this this is weird, but um, I don't got the exact same video. Well, I do because of her performance, but I think I did trim it down to like maybe 10 seconds or something like that. But it's still weird because this is still within the guidelines. You should have, in my opinion, never really got a strike. So, I mean, I feel like somebody reported it, to be honest. Of course, somebody reported it. So. I'm just really not in a good mood, so um, I'm going to try to fight it. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to do it um, is to try to, you know, fight the strike, whatever. But I'm just not in a good mood, okay? This is just not a good way to start off anything. Like, man, like, what? Are you serious? Yes, please remove. If y'all have that video, you know, this is to all of the barbs. If y'all have that video on your channel, remove that video. I don't care how many likes it got, how many views it got, remove it. Remove it. Yeah, but that's not the same video. It's a, it's another video. But I think that they removed it because maybe what she said. I don't know. Yes, I will be making a backup YouTube. I will. I didn't even, and you want to know something, Egypt? I didn't even monetize that video. That video was not monetized because I just didn't feel like it needed to be monetized. You know what I'm saying? I just chose not to monetize it. I don't monetize any. I don't monetize this live. I don't monetize a lot of things. But you know what, guys? I literally just told myself, I said, you know what, August? You're going to start monetizing your lives. You're going to just start putting your song in the beginning. You are going to just start doing this show the way that it needs to go. Because if you don't, you're going to end up in a really, really bad situation. You cannot do what you want to do. That is not the way of the world. You can't live like that. So I'm going to make sure to do things totally different this time, y'all. I promise y'all. I put that on everything I love. So I want y'all to do me a favor. And if y'all want us to do the show, right? If y'all want me to do the show, then y'all want y'all to put a one in the chat. If y'all want us to actually just chill, then put a two in the chat. Because if y'all put a one... Then that means y'all better support the channel. I mean, we, we need to have high spirits. We need to literally get all the way into it because if I do this show, then that means that literally I will be doing it just for y'all. And that means that I would have to go into myself and literally grab a really, really big chunk of something that I don't have right now. And I'm going to have to give it to you guys. So if I do that, 
okay? If I do that, then please, y'all, make sure, please support the channel. Please have high spirits. Please keep it, because I will stay up here for an hour and do my thing, I promise you. Hey, what's up, everybody? Shout out to everybody on the channel. Shout out to everybody, everybody, everybody. Okay, bro, you see the ones? Yeah, I see the ones. My bad, y'all. I'm checking my email, because this, um, this, like, this not cool, like, to work so hard. And then, like, something like this happened, like, it's a smack in the face. Yeah, it, it, it's not really a smack in the face because, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know how it's going to go. What I've noticed is a lot of people, lives don't even get to stay up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't even get to go live as soon as they get to strike. So, I don't know what this means, okay? So, I'm just wanted, I just wanted to make sure that I told y'all that because I just didn't want y'all to be in no fucked up, no effed up situation um in regards to your channel especially if you have a channel that's popping and you're new do your thing and make sure you get that thing off of your channel okay and listen because of i because i love y'all so much i'm going to stay up here and we're going to do this show okay i'm gonna stay up here and i'm going to do this show but i can promise y'all that i might be up in the bed crying after this because i don't know what's going to happen i don't know how they're going to even let me do anything on this channel tomorrow or if they'll let me do it i'm going to just Pray to God that I'll be able to do, you know what I'm saying? What do we got to do? So I love y'all, Shady Gang. Let's get into the show. Listen, go ahead and drop your Lolo in the jersey. Drop your Lolo in the jersey, okay? I'm going to have to bring my spirit all the way up because I'm not no quitter. August will never be a quitter. So guess what? August is going to be here and August is going to give you a show. We got ATL in the building. We got Philly in the building. We got ATL Ho. What's happening? We got Dim. Oh, I never heard of that. Demo Pulli. Alabama. What's up, Kiwi? How you doing, babe? Mm -hmm. Shard H in Texas. We got my Timmy Love in New Orleans. I got my Momo in Seattle. We got the Bronx in the building. California, Florida. Yes, we got Bahamas in here. What's up, everybody? Shout out to Paul Ann in Guyana. Shout out to Rochester, New York. Shout out to uh, Jamaica. Shout out to Miss Lakey in Statesville. Shout out to April in motherfucking Chicago. Shout out to my Miss Vicky, my, my motherfucking auntie, all the way in Chicago. Okay, who else in here? Hampton, VA. What's up, Miss Parker? Okay, we got DB in this motherfucker. Okay, he already told y'all hit the like button. Okay, y'all already know we got this strike, so you know the algorithm is going to fuck with us a little bit. Okay. So remember, y'all, make sure y'all tell me, August, watch your mouth. Say, August, watch your mouth. That's all you got to say. August, watch your mouth. Because I'm going to probably, I, I, I don't need to say some of the things that I be wanting to say, y'all. I got to really watch myself today. I really do. Okay, so let me go ahead and put these stuff in here. Because I ain't, I ain't even prepared, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm not even prepared to even say the least, okay? I'm just not. So... We're gonna work a little different today. Today we're gonna work a little bit different. Um, let me see. Hmm. 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 Morning time, my. We got you. You got me. Okay. Well, let's just see. Shout out to everybody that's showing so much love and support. Uh, give y'all know I'm a Virgo, so y'all gotta give me about you know maybe ten minutes before I get my spirit. Well, not ten minutes. That's a lot. Give me about 30 seconds and then roll with the pressure will most definitely be in full effect. But until we get everything, you know, situated and together, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. Don't be different. Or I'm going to pluck a couple of y'all women's motherfuckers. Lay fronts. Yeah, give me the give me the front. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he already Rello already starting with the, with the mess. What's up, Courtney? What's up, Juju? Hey, everybody in the building. That's right. Do we have a problem? No weapon formed against me will prosper. Rello in August. I didn't get to read the rest of it. It went by so fast. <laughs> Listen, I love y'all so much. Listen, that's why we do this, y'all. I'm telling you, we do this for y'all. If it wasn't up for y'all, there would be no August. Hello. Is the music too loud? Hold on. Music ain't too loud. Okay. The music is not too loud. Let me go ahead and share the screen. I do apologize for the, you know, the little late start. I had to say what I had to say, y'all, because y'all know August is a realist and August can't just be coming up here being and faking the phone. Ain't no such thing for me as faking no damn phone. Okay? I ain't faking if something stank, then I'm gonna I'm call it out. Okay? So I'm gonna start it off the show like we supposed to. Black China was tiger pum pum. Kylie Jenna used fear pum pum. Set for tiger from China pum. So China does be tiny brother pum. Okay, we gotta get into some things now. I wanna pull up this picture because this picture is what 
got everybody sitting on their toes right now, Rello. Everybody sitting on their toes. Sitting on their toes, doing a little ballerina dance like they was in the Beyonce green light video, okay? Excuse him, Shady Gang. He don't mean sitting on their toes. I mean sitting on their toes. He mean standing on their toes. Sitting on their toes. If you sitting on your toes, that mean they folded. I said what I said. Well, you said what you said and they changed it over I there. said what I said. And they changed it over there. I said what I said. Well, what you said was some bad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, let me say, yes, we heard Sweetie yeah, Song. Wait, and you don't, it don't, don't do that random account. Wait, wait, because y'all know I'm stupid excited about what Sweetie just dropped. So let us get into what we need to get into first, and then we'll get to my baby Sweetie, okay? Yes, we got to talk about Nicki Minaj. But, okay, oh, Nika Tiny Mirage just gotta start coming first. I don't like even doing her at the end of the show no more because I feel like I don't give Nikki enough time when I be talking about her. So I don't wanna do her at the end of the show no more. I wanna make sure she's at the beginning of the show. Whoever don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> you can leave, you ain't gotta be here. That's what I'm saying. Now, I wanna talk about this new video that Nikki Minaj is in with Maluma, and it is for the World Cup. Now, I don't even know how to pronounce this song. Now, let me go up a little bit, because I, I want to make sure, okay, that we, we, we're we pronouncing this song. Chuka Taka! Chuka Taka. Taka Taka. Taka Taka. Taka Taka. Nikki looks oh, good for yes. it's Chuka Taka. Chuka Taka. Yes! Chuka Taka. Nikki Minaj is about to slay the Girls, are y'all ready to see a little clip of Amika? Yeah. Pretty face like a girl can't see me. So Trini, everything the man have that for me. Yeah. 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 And you want to know something? This is the real tea right here. It's these girls out here for trying to say that Nicki Minaj looks anything. Anybody that goes around here saying that, oh, Nicki Tanya Minaj looks anything like Cardi B, you literally have something wrong with your mind. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay? I mean, it's my opinion. But something's wrong with your mind if you think that, oh, Nika, who is 39 years old, been on this earth nine years before the River Cricket, and you're coming in here saying that Nicki Minaj look like Cardi B when Cardi B done changed her face I don't know how many times, allegedly. How does Nicki look like her? She don't even look like her. How does Nicki Minaj look like her when she don't even look like her? You must be a cold damn. Because I, I don't know how anybody with two eyes, right? Can even see or even try to compare and say that someone that was put on this earth before a river cricket will look like a river cricket. Listen, uh, Nikki don't got no river cricket in her, in her blood, babe. You understand what I'm saying? There would never be a time where Nicki Minaj would have to go and change her face. Nicki Minaj still looks like the same person decade from decade, okay? There is no reason that Nicki Minaj has to go and compete with no female. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nicki's face is iconic. Her face is iconic, and that's why girls are going and try to get the same look. But it won't hit the same because Nicki Minaj got that power puff, you know, that spice and everything nice. Okay. It's something that's spilt in Nicki, Nicki pot that y'all won't be able to get in y'all. Spoons and buttercup, like everything. Everything that y'all feel like, even if y'all went and got the same tea, just because she know how to put exactly what need to be in that tea, it would never be the same. Her tea is different from y'all tea. Her face is different from y'all face. Her catalog music is different from y'all catalog music. Her business mindset is different from you girls. Low vibrational mindset. I mean, do I need to keep going on? Everything is different and don't be different. And mind you that these pictures are like seven years apart. I want you to understand that even this picture that I have on the side, y'all, is actually seven years apart. This picture is from 2015, 16. This video is 2022. What y'all need to understand is that Onika Tanya Mirage is one of the most beautiful rappers, female rappers, uh, singers, anything that you can name, she's beautiful. That's why Wilhelmina actually made her a model because she's beautiful. You would never see Cardi B be made a model. Well, I don't want to say never because it's like they listen and everything we say never to, they go and find out because we would have never thought Beyonce would work with Cardi B, right? <laughs> yeah, so it's just, you know, when we can't say never, because she goes and she gets these fillers and she tries to look like Nicki Minaj. And I hate, I just, I just don't like the fact that Nicki even has to, or, or her fans have to defend something that came out of her mama's pom pom. Aging gracefully. Like, I don't even really want to defend it because, like, 
everybody can see it for themselves. Like the beauty is there, the the talent is there. Like some of y'all does just really be comparison stuff. And I feel like if y'all didn't even know what two plus two, which equal four, y'all will try to compare that and say that's not even what it is. Like y'all are weird and delusional. Y'all obviously want the Barb's and the Barty game to go back and forth because y'all really do not understand how it feels to be able to come out here and be, I don't even want to say the bottom because Nicki Minaj was never at the bottom, but when people were not looking at, you know what I'm saying, was not paying attention and we were the only one paying attention, now that the general public has literally turned their eye back to Nicki Minaj, like, oh, Nicki's still out here? They don't know how I feel to like really start from a MySpace. You feel me? Like to really start from where you're selling your CDs and everything to now where all these girls are basically pushed because they're popular by demand. They are considered viral artists. It's a, in my, I'm gonna keep saying this, it's a smack in the face in my opinion for someone to work so hard that been in the game 10, 15 years, them they're going on 20 now and y'all still trying to make false accusations and false comparisons to her telling her career and her beauty. That That is, that, that is not okay. And you wanna know what, what else isn't, isn't okay is comparing someone to an icon. Now, Cardi B is on the way to be a great entertainer for the people that she entertains. But for me, Rello, and all of the people that love Nick, there is no way that Cardi B is an icon to us. You understand what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj's biggest debuts on Spotify Global was Ball For Me with 4 million, Dark Side of the Moon with 3 million with uh, Lil Wayne, Super Freaky Girl with 3 million, okay? Seeing Green with 2 million. And this is when she didn't have nothing out. Trolls, no album, y'all. These are all no album. No album out. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj has not dropped an album since Queen. Right, these are all features, okay? And this is why I feel like it's weird because the, the Grammy CEO basically said that, you know, the Grammys don't look for talent anymore. So at this point, it's like, if y'all looking for numbers, Nicki produced that. You feel me? If y'all looking for beauty, Nicki produced that. Whatever y'all looking for, Nicki been out here producing it and giving it to y'all. I think at this point, y'all just don't want to give her that accolade because as a rapper, y'all know how much that would mean to her. And that's, and that's all I'm saying, because let me tell you something. Onika Tanya Mirage can literally come out here and do what you girls can't. And I think that's why Nikki was like, you know, how I'm going to come on it. I just am on it. Another, why would you put a bum on it? Special Olympics? I'm a goat. I'm on it. Listen, Nicki Minaj knows she's that girl. When you know that you're at the top of your game, when you know that you're at the top, you have that attitude. You're not going to change it. Why would she change who she is? Nikki knew what they was going to say when she seen this video, when she seen this. It's sad. And I don't even really want to try to bring color in it, but it's sad. I feel like they don't like to see a black woman be strong and strive in her greatness. And men too. But the difference is with the men in the rap industry, they do extra stuff to go an extra mile. So some of that stuff is really looked over. If y'all know what I'm saying, y'all understand. But when it comes to women in the industry, a black beautiful woman who build a foundation from sticks and bricks, they don't want to see her be on top. And that is like weird. Because they started from the bottom too. Everybody started from somewhere. So to sit there and try to stop somebody as if they're not good enough when you know for sure that they're more than good enough. They have all the above qualifications and experience that you need or want. Come on, y'all. This is crazy. Yes, Jessica, we all we most definitely need another award ceremony to congratulate some of the you know the greatest out here because I don't feel like the Grammys they don't really exude um right Freddie P <laughs> they don't really exude that um exquisite uh, I don't even know what to Fox say Swing, no I don't even want to say that but just the top just to know that you reached the top level you know what I'm saying like when a rap when a when a when an actress or an actor they don't have that exquisite can y'all hear now Wait a minute, put a one in the chat if y'all can hear. I, hey, uh, she talking about that's my fault. Keep your hand off that I, body. Butterfly, uh-uh. No, let me go get my boot. No, 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 no. I love you too, queen. Keep, hey, keep your, butterfly, keep your fingers off that volume button, baby. Okay. I, uh, listen, I'm going, I'm going to pop my butterfly now. I got to boot my butterfly in the chat, y'all. I got to boop her. You know I love her. I love her. I love her down. But I got a booper.
Now, I shouldn't be boofing you because, you know, you did tell, you know, I didn't give y'all the little, I didn't do none of that. We didn't even say, can we talk? We didn't even do none of that. We got straight into it. We got straight into it because if you if you came into the show earlier, then y'all would know that I came in here on a little bit of whim and I was not feeling too good. You know what I'm saying? But y'all already know the Shady Gang always pumps us up. And I want to shout out every single person that is literally showing love to our Cash App or the Super Chats. We really really appreciate y'all and i love y'all so much listen i know y'all always trying to make me feel better and that is the way okay listen ball for me um dark side of the moon uh super freaky girl um seeing green trolls they're asking what is going what do you guys think this I, I need you to put it in the chat and i want y'all to realize something okay when you put this in the chat look at the numbers okay four million three million three million two what do you think this is going to do if if you have a song that is on TikTok, okay a maluma verse heard uh doing a little something something on a, in the sand got four million views on TikTok. but what and is, and in twitter and what's weird is though like glow dude right she only got one song that ever hit up to the three millions right uh, and maybe beyond i say in the millions and y'all still giving this girl a grammy like for real when it comes to an iconic status and you're already solidified in the game yes this is considered to be unfair because at the end of the day when who oh, tom hanks be out here acting and uh will smith and all them be out here acting they want to be known as the best actors right this is what they want their career to be so when they feel like they got you know snub for an oscar or something of course they go speak up and say something so why is it nikki get treated unfairly when she do it and that's all i want to know and i want you guys to also remember this right why is cardi b trending with Nicki minaj you want to know why because her fans are continuously Every time Nikki does something, they come right out and they do it with her. Every time Glorilla now does something, oh, and Nikki can't do this or super freaky grandma this, they are looking to attach negativity to something positive. And once y'all realize that they are attaching negativity to positivity, then you guys will go learn to detach because we feed in to a lot of this drama. And you wanna know something today? may be a day that I realize like, you know what? Maybe I wanna just stop doing all it. Maybe I just wanna do more commentary on Nikki and, and rather than always dragging her. You wanna know why? Because I just don't have time for that. I just don't, y'all. I honestly don't got time for her fans and anybody else to continuously always try to come around here and try to take these channels down because they don't like what's going on or they don't like people talking great about Nicki Minaj. That is not going to stop anything, y'all. I'm gonna always come out here and do what I do. You won't be able to stop me, okay? I'm so sorry if you thought that that was gonna be a way to stop me, it's not, okay? I am protected by higher powers, love. Somebody, probably by something that you would never know anything about. Meditation, praying, and learning how to be one with thyself will show you how, okay? If you wanna know, just, in, you know, since you always on my, you feel me? Just saying. Now I just want to get into some more Nicki Minaj news in regards to some of the girls showing love to the queen. Now we did talk about this a little bit um, before. I think it was probably like the, the show before this one or the show, the, whatever. Um, but I do know that we talked about it and we were, you know, everybody was saying, oh, Doja Cat showed love to Nicki Minaj and da 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 and ah, ah, ah. Well, here it is, okay? <laughs> Shout out to my Cardi don't got no fans, okay? It's the algorithm linking her to her. And, and I, on, on soul, like, I really feel like that's the case, too, because any social media, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, if MySpace was still popping, it'd be MySpace, too. Anytime that Nikki come out the River Cricket name is attached, it's so weird. When Carisha out here, you don't hear nothing about the River Cricket. When Megan out here, unless the River Cricket is a feature, you don't hear nothing about her. When these other girls is out here, you don't hear nothing about the River Cricket until Onika Tanya Mirage steps the out. Every single time, here we are. Oh, let me go ahead and shout out some cash appers, okay? Wanna shout out some cash appers. I want to shout out my Mr. Warren. Shout out Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for the cash app. And also, thank you, Dave, for the cash app. I appreciate you, babe. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Breezy, as well. And thank you, DB. Thank oh, you, shoot. Bro. Oh, I didn't even know. Okay, so, yes, shout out to Ty. Shout out to my baby, Tiffy. And shout out to DB. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. We're missing one more person. Oh, Breezy. And shout out to Breezy. We love y'all. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate all.
of the love, okay? And make sure y'all continue to show the love, okay? Because, you know, that is what's keeping my, my head above the water. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to my quack quack for keeping my head above the water and keeping the kid mother effing sane because I was about to lose it and I was not going to go live, but I just remember what you guys always tell me. Y'all always tell me sometimes, dang, we need y'all. Dang, I wish y'all went live today. I was having a bad day. You know, I was having a bad day and I just want to laugh. And you know, being the person that makes someone laugh and they're having a bad day, you know how hard, how much energy that takes. If you're having a bad day, but you're always coming, this is what I do. That's a part of being a Leo. If y'all don't know that, we will literally put ourselves on the back burner to make sure that somebody else feel good. But what, what I want y'all to know is that y'all make me feel good. Don't ever think that because I'm talking, like I literally said I had a bad day earlier in the day, but because I'm on here talking to y'all, y'all energy makes me feel good. So I am having an amazing day. Shout out to the Shady Gang. Yeah, shout out to y'all. Y'all most definitely put us back in high spirits. Rello is on his best behavior. I'm not going to do any cursing, okay? I'm just going to just talk, period. And don't forget, y'all, we have Rello's channel as well. If anything's to pop off, we will be getting stuff popping on Rello's channel. Don't ever get it twisted, okay? Let's get into Doja Cat likes the Shade Room tweets about Nicki Minaj being snubbed by the Grammys for years and how she is untreated unfairly. I love how y'all be trying to shout out these people for hitting the like button, but I ain't buying it. Oh, listen, Stranger Things, I'm not buying it because the same way that you can go and hit that like button, you can take your little skinny, stubby fingers, witch fingers, whatever, and go tie a whole paragraph and let everybody know how you feel that Nicki Minaj is getting treated unfairly. I do it every day. So I'm just saying, every time I went up, I'm late, but I'm here. Please tell me that Asian woman in the thumbnail isn't car Ooh, what is it? Ooh. Ooh. David John, I think we're gonna have to drag you, but we're gonna have to move you. Hold on, cuz. David! David done came in here and started some mess, y'all. David done came in here and started some mess. Thank you, Quay Quay, for the cash app. We like you, baby. Uh-uh, Quay Quay. Quay Quay, I'm gonna I'm I'm stomp you, Quay Quay. Thank you, baby. I love you. So, David, uh, report to the front line, please. Who are you talking about? David! David! It's time to get stomped with these teams, love. Can we talk to you? I think I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to talk from, you know, this Nah, no, no, no. I think he was talking about the River Creek. Yeah. We talking from the Can we talk? Can we talk? You and I, I us and David. Oh, conversation with David. David, David can yeah. we talk to you? They tell my damn, I'm trying to cook. Galaxy, well, listen, I ain't tell your ass to be over there cooking. Now, did I? You should have been sitting down typing. You can't be typing the cookie. You make sure you better have your little wipe now. Better have your little sanitary wipe. Listen, yes, Shelton, us and them and Rello. Shelton said, you ain't, you know you gonna cuss. But he been doing good, Shelton. Listen, you better get your Virgo. Make sure he doing good. Yo, it been 34 minutes. I've been doing good, Virgo. I'm doing a lot day. David, yeah. come out and play. Can we talk to you, David? I mean, I really. Like David just ran away. Like David, you still here? Knock knock. No, he said he said LOL something. Y'all, everybody put David, David, David in the chat. Just keep on writing David till he come because we gotta <laughs> summon him. Okay, we gotta get him up here because I wanna make sure David understand that he won't ever. Are oh, they timed him out, David? No. Oh, well, David, just wait about 10 more seconds, about 30 more yeah. seconds, and you'll be able to comment. But you see they showing you love in the chat. Yeah, we, we, you see they showing you love in the chat, David. Don't be different, because when you come back, we go at you like this is Twitter, OK? <laughs> that girl talking about come back, stink. <laughs> come back, stink. Come back, booby do. Booby do. Come back, booby do. Come on back. David, 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 David. Oh, it's 300 seconds. Uh Shelton, did you did, did you knock David out? Of, <laughs> did you take David and put him in timeout? David, 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 John. Momo said, "Oh, David, <laughs> come out and play." We just want to talk to you real quick. We want to make sure that you understand. Yeah, zone ride, zone, zone ride, zone ride for me, Fred. <laughs> <Zone ride. laughs> Oh my God, Rillo, I can't believe we having a show without cursing. This is so crazy. Yeah, shout out to, um, shout out to Raquel. And, and shout uh, out to, email. <laughs> I'm gonna say, 
Tamir. Shout out to Tamir. Okay, Mr. Tamir, Mr. Tamir. Love you. Thank you, baby. They say, David, you scared? No, David is in time no, out, y'all. David ain't scared, y'all. David in time out. You know, the, the moderators really got some really sticky fingers, and they don't play that over here. They, they really don't. But you'll be out of the corner in a second, and you can come back. Yeah, you can come back. We just don't want you to think that that's Cardi B. Okay? Okay, Pop said, no, nah, your uh, previous thumbnail was Cardi, y'all. Look like she, uh, she is Asian, I think. Uh... <laughs> Wow, 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 talking to me like I'm dumb, I should have known, should have left it alone, but no, I feel like back to the topic, I feel like when it comes to Stranger Things, aka Doja Cat, Little Miss Kitty, she should been said something like, how many times that Nikki came out and said where she felt like, you know, something unfairly had happened to her. And, you know, Doja would be over there on her little planet, her little thing, you know, doing all these little weird, strange things. Like, what's going on, Mikey G? You know, A.I.T., they're doing all this. You know, Doja do a lot of strange things, and it's not really until maybe she feel like she need a nomination for something to be looked at that she come out and like certain things, in my opinion. Okay, I, I, I agree, but I just want to say I know she loves Nicki Minaj. That's yeah, no, that's no shade. We know that you love Nicki, but we as Barb's, okay, um, we as Barb's are just the type of people that you just have to do a little more. Like if we're out here buying your music and we're out here, you know, supporting you, like especially when Nicki wasn't around, like when Nicki was kind of like taking her break, the Barb's was all over you and you were loving it, right? Oh, Nikki this and Nikki that. But now that you girl, I can't imagine being famous and having this type of pull and knowing that I love this artist so much and I have every and I have a platform to speak how I feel. You can call it D-writing, you can call it whatever you want. That's what I'm gonna do. The little bit of fame that I have now, the little bit of the little bit of clout, whatever you wanna call it, that we have now, the following, whatever. We use that to, to support Nicki Minaj. All day, every day. It's not going to change over here. I feel like when you love certain people, it's okay for you to come out and say certain things. You feel me? Like, nobody is not going to not like you, though. You're like, no matter how strange you are, that you probably will actually have more people to respect you as an artist and really be willing to really look past your quirkiness and get into your music without everybody feeling like you're Roman, in my mm -hmm. opinion. And you want to know something and I also feel, guys, I want to say, I just seen somebody post something in the chat that I actually really want to get into. And it's so, and I'm so happy that you said something about that because let me tell you something. Kelly Rowland and Beyonce, oh, we're about to get into that. Okay, we are about to get into that, baby. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You hear me? Oh, there go, David. Welcome back. He said, laugh a lot. Wait, I can explain. I was putting time out. I'm trying to reply, y'all. I just, damn, it went too fast. But you was putting time out. He said, wait, let him explain. I can read the rest. I don't know what you're trying to say. But welcome back, David. Take a seat. Hit that thumbs up button. I feel like you was talking about the River Cricket. So you get a pack. Yeah, we don't let you pass on this one. Where can I find that? Um, guys, can you is it on the shade room? Let me look on neighborhood talk. Ooh. I'm gonna look on the neighborhood talk. So the irony of it all is now that I just went down back down memory lane, Beyonce and Kelly grew well, did they well they had a strong relationship. They basically, you know, kind of grew up together, right? Wait, 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 I, I wouldn't say what I think I, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say grew up together. They, they basically had a good little relationship. And I feel like when Beyonce and them had that song called, y'all remember that song called Girl? I can tell you've been crying and you need somebody to talk to and all that extra stuff. I love my Virgos. I'm a Virgo myself. But I feel like Beyonce didn't mean that. It wasn't genuine and she didn't feel that. Because when Kelly Rowland allegedly came out with her song Dirty Laundry, <laughs> I didn't see B nowhere to be found. Did you, August? Uh, no, and and now and the reason why we want to get into this real quick, y'all, there is because I it, it, Kelly just did an interview, right? And in the before I did, and this is before we get into sweetie, I know this is not a part of the topic, but I want to just get on. I, I want to say this real quick because, and shout out to all of my Virgos. Love when I tell y'all love y'all down. I love Virgos down. Don't ever think that when we say something about the, on this channel that it's delayed. It's real, you know, it implies. implies to you or is directed to you. But when we speak of Virgos. Let's talk. When we talk of Virgos, let's talk. Okay? Let's talk! Can we talk? Can we talk? 
I love my Virgos. Now, Virgos are, let me tell you, let, let's, let me go ahead and give y'all a little small rundown on the Virgos before y'all get out of y'all motherfucking bag, okay? Virgos are smart. They are go-getters. There's not a Virgo that probably ain't got $20 in their pocket, okay? There's not a Virgo that won't let you go if you disrespect them. There is not a Virgo that can't dress. And that's just my opinion. That's how I feel about Virgos. I think Virgos are very put together people. But yes, Virgo equals backbone. But also, Virgos equals jealousy. Virgos equal unbalanced. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna say this in my opinion because just imagine a Beyonce. Well, let me say oh, somebody got your birthday. Oh, period. Shout out to you, Jules. That's my birthday. Let me finish what I was saying first. So, um, Beyonce, right? If you look at Beyonce's outer core, Beyonce is a beautiful Virgo, a beautiful woman, right? But when you see somebody like Kelly, you see a girl that doesn't really care about fame, that doesn't really care about certain things like that, but they are good. They're just as good as Beyonce. And when that, when Beyonce knows that, I'm gonna make sure that this girl, yes, you, yeah, you my friend, I love you, girl, but you ain't gonna ever get why I am. I'm gonna make sure that you stay right there. The minute in 2012, I'm gonna say 2010, 11, 12, and 13, when that shit started hitting, oh, I didn't mean to curse. When that started to hit the lights, okay? When Kelly started to come out here and had motivation, when she had out songs bigger than Beyonce, you watched Beyonce fall down the charts. You watched literally her literally go down. You wanna know something? Cause when Beyonce 4 came out, I didn't listen to none of them songs. All of those songs was trash. They did not give nothing. But Kelly dropped an album that I listened to from front to back, okay? Beyonce did not give that. And I feel like, you know, Beyonce has a way of jealousy. You know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of girls are not getting up, but nobody says that about her, but they watch Nicki and her moves and everything that Nicki does. But Nicki's a hater, but Beyonce not. I'm just saying, why are you not speaking up for Summer Walker? Summer Walker is an R&B girl. Why are, you, why are you not speaking up for urban artists that are being snubbed at the Grammys? It's only when it involves you. Do you see the moves that I'm talking about? <laughs> Not the most. Right there. I see him. I wouldn't uh for Virgos per se, right? I wouldn't really say jealousy. I would more so say that they're easily manipulated. And the reason that I say that is because yeah, they do feel like, you know, we we can't be people backbones, right? So the moment that like I said, her dad, whoever was in her ear, make it or Jay-Z, who was ever in her ear due to the fact that she's gullible and easily manip manipulated, someone else was in her ear telling her that Kelly was, in my opinion, was trying to outdo her. You feel me? Like trying to outshine her when that wasn't even a case or situation. Hence to why, yeah, a lot of people may look at it as jealousy, but I look at it as if she's just being, you know, um, easily manipulated and she feel like she's supposed to have that only one spot due to what she been told her whole singing career yes that's right Ver um beyonce looks out for herself they said um i think b is jealous of nikki um Ale Ale alexandria was saying virgos compete i think that's what you were saying um they said are we dragging beyonce no we're not dragging her but i want to just point out some of the things on the internet of why people will continue to literally say the same things that we said when we were younger Y'all remember when we were younger, how they used to always say Latavia and Latoya was prettier and you know, and, and all of that. I remember those things when I was younger, like this this would never relieve my mind. That's why I would never not talk about it. Jay, we talking about, of course, the Virgo will try to justify. No, I won't, because I call Beyonce on her shady, snaky behavior all the time. I'm not trying to justify anything. What I'm- You're justifying right now. No. You don't even have to tell them that. The interview asked Kelly about Beyonce because they will never get a chance to ask Beyonce about Beyonce. Do you see what I'm saying? This, what? who cares? Why, what about Kelly? Kelly's an amazing artist just like Beyonce. She's done everything that Beyonce's done in Destiny's Child because everything that y'all love about Beyonce is from her being in Destiny's Child. No, really, I don't like Beyonce personality. And then and listen, why would y'all use another Virgo? Jewel, tell me, I got your back, Rilla. <laughs> um, But why would y'all use another Virgo to taunt Kelly, though? I want y'all to get into the interview and, and listen how Rosenberg, just like he did Nikki, right? Look how he did Kelly Rowland, like she's a nobody. Like you talk to this girl like she is a nobody. Like what? Nah, let's just talk. Let's just listen to it. Everyone who gets, I don't want to speak for me. Everyone who gets in the entertainment business, 
gets into it to be the man, right? Mm -hmm. Just me working with Ebro takes hates my it. own he ego. Hates it. It hates it. It's my own. Mm -hmm. My ego has to be in check, even mm -hmm. though when he's not here, I'm like, you know what? I kind of prefer Ebro come back. But <laughs> it takes. It, it does take an ego check, and mm -hmm. you happen to be standing next to the brightest light on planet Earth. Like you think Big Boy from Outcast has it tough being next to Andre. You were with Beyonce, and not only did you not. Like, why do y'all, why does he have a microphone to speak to the culture? Why does this speak get to talk to me about how we feel about Kelly and Beyonce? On red, and if you want to talk in real, in, in, in real terms, I look at these two diff these two women differently. Like when I listen to Beyonce, I'm not comparing her music to Kelly. When I listen to Kelly, I'm not comparing her music videos to Beyonce. I'm just not. I'm not. It is not a fair game. It's not a fair game. Beyonce was giving a given everything and Kelly had to work for it. And I'm not saying that Kelly was not given anything, but she had to go and work for her spot. And she made her own spot. And every time she made a spot, the girls would come and take it. Kelly Rowland created electronic music. I mean, she didn't create it, but she started it before Beyonce. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that she was in Germany and all of these other foreign places doing different type of electronic music that was selling really, really good? And here comes 7th Street, here comes every girl that is doing the same thing she's doing. They start doing what she, like, it's not fair. It's not fair, but I'm gonna tell you something. There is a way, there's a way to, to humble Beyonce. And that is coming, okay? Beyonce's hum her humbling experience is coming very soon because just like Nikki, quote unquote, received competition, she's going to receive it too. And she has just been keeping her way out of the competition so that she is never looked at in that light. But we all know, we all know the team. So they said, why does B pick um, gives Ice Spice hair? Oh my God, no. Not Ice Spice hair. Y'all are literally going too far. All right, so we about to get into Sweetie a little bit because, you know, hold on, let me see. Let me pull up the Sweetie picture. All right. So, I want to say this before we get before, 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 before. They said, oh my God, I thought that pic was a photo of Ice Spice. No, that was a picture of Beyonce, babe. It truly was. It was a picture of Beyonce. Why would you think that's Ice Spice? Okay. Oh, my bad. I'm trying to uh just trying to think. Like, I don't know. I feel like Sweetie, my baby, you feel me? And we're not talking about Sweetie. Yes, y'all was. Y'all just talking no, you're about. Giving, you're talking giving. About. We're talking about Sweetie next. You give your your lasting opinion on uh, yeah. the Virgo before you left. Oh no, I already said there's nothing else to explain. I don't care for her personality, and when it comes to Ebro, I don't listen to him. So whatever he says, is nothing more. I don't listen to Ebro. Whatever he say is null and void. His opinion don't matter. Culture watcher. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. Now, the next thing, y'all make sure, listen, if you haven't already, please smash the like button. Okay, y'all already told y'all I was not having a good day and I was not, you know what I'm saying, wanting to even finish the show. But we are now 50 minutes into the show. So make sure that y'all are doing y'all part by hitting that like button and supporting the channel. Okay, period. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into the last topic. All right. Now, the last topic is going to be Miss Saweetie and Frogface. Why am I calling him Frog Face? Because it's giving very much so. I got money and I don't give a how pretty you are. I'm, I, you get dropped like a bad habit. This is your first time coming to my house. Hey. Okay, literally. I don't know why Sweetie tried to come for him, girl. You was no, up there. First of all, it's good. Sweetie can't come for him because he came for Sweetie and his little mixtape and EP too. What you talking about? This is a rap industry. And it's okay for females to send shots at men the same way that it's okay, well, that it's considered to be okay for men to send shots at women. Drake just did it. We ain't gonna do that. No, nah, Drake just did it. She got the right to stand up and call that man a fraud. Yeah, he looked like a fraud. That just happened to not be her Prince Charming. So when she kissed him, he still didn't transform into anything beautiful. Go back to Jada. Bye. Thank you, David. That was that was really nice. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. 
And you wanna know something? I don't think you deserve Jada. Jada's a bad B that does not need to be around anything like you that is toxic. I think Jada needs to continue doing whatever she's doing and screwing whoever she's screwing in private. Because I feel like Jada is clear. Like she just feels clear now. You know what I'm saying? Like he is somebody that was around her, maybe acting like he was, you know, with her and then maybe was with other people. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? Because he was able to go straight to Sweetie after they was together. And when you got when you see stuff like that, you got to know that ain't that, that, that can't be the person for you. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you've been with that person, y'all got a baby together. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason for you to go out and just be sliding with a sweetie. A, what? Stop throwing shade at my sweetie. <laughs> no, I'm not no no no. A sweetie is in a rapper like him. Like you don't have to disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? You can go you can go F a booty mop, you can go do something like that, but you don't have to go with sweetie. Like Sweetie should have been the last girl. That's that. That's not something that you should have did. And that's just my opinion. I feel like they said Jada is very insecure and he made her that way. He made her that way. You know what I'm saying? Jada is a bad B. I don't even know. She should never be insecure when he's ugly and she's cute. It's not. It doesn't make sense. I agree. I now that I I can most definitely agree on because it do be the toxic ugly ones that do make the you know the bad ones kind of like not feel so secure in themselves. You know, but. I feel like, you know, Sweetie gave an ugly man a chance, just like she did with Quavo, and both of them decided to go to the blogs. So I feel like, I'm, I feel Sweetie is vindicating herself. You feel me? I'm happy for Sweetie right now at this point. I know a lot of people may look at it like, oh, that's, that's you know, messy and rude. I feel like her calling him a frog face was nice. You feel me? Like, she could have said a lot of other things, in my opinion, but Lil Baby really most definitely don't deserve a Jada, and Sweetie don't deserve a Lil Baby. Okay, and that that is FedEx. But um Jody, I'm about to get I'm gonna get into this when we get into the comments. Um but I'm gonna leave it on the screen so that I don't forget it. Shout out to the House of Princess for the super chat. I appreciate that, babe. But I wanna um I wanna get into sweetie some of the things she said real quick. I'm not gonna play too much of the song, just gonna play a little clip of it. Okay, hold on. What I get for kissing on these frogs. He got mad into my business to the blocks. Nigga that's what I get for kissing on these frogs. Mm -hmm. Kissing on these frogs and making them princes is what she's saying. That's what she's saying. They said, my don't try ice spice. Ooh, China, you really don't like Beyonce, D. <laughs> yeah. um, they said, I love Sweetie, but don't care what she sings. Oh, man. But listen to this part. Nigga, pause. I'm a pop. Need to chill out. Yeah, I pull up. Then I bust. Then I pull out. Steady. Oh, she talking her stuff on there. So listen, y'all make sure y'all go check out Sweetie's new Pretty Beat Music um, presents Sweetie, the single life, okay? And she has this whole sword on her hand. She got the little body, yaddy, yaddy. You know, she's back. And she says she ain't, she ready to tell nobody that they ain't, you know, they ain't messing around no more. And if they was messing around, you shouldn't have told nobody, okay? He got a big mouth, like Ruby Rose said. Ooh, wee. I'm excited, you feel me? I'm happy for Sweetie, because Sweetie really don't come out here like this, you feel me? And the simple fact that I feel like she's giving, you know, the people kind of what they what they looking for, because she's been in a lot of controversy, you feel me? And a lot of propaganda. So I feel like, hopefully, her next song is really her addressing some more of these female rap artists that really, you know, took shots at her and stuff like that, too. Like, it's good. Okay, girl, get over it. You got them out there, you feel me? Move on. Go at these girls that really need these shots, uh, you know, pressure applied to. You should this talk about this giving the Wings Club. Ah! <laughs> it is the Wings Club because she got like the little butterfly effect behind her. But that means, you know, she finna evolve, I, I hope. You know, she's no longer in her cocoon. She came out her cocoon and now she's a beautiful butterfly. Oh man, so yeah, sweetie, we can't wait to see what you got coming up, Shardy. We can't wait, cause I'm, I, listen, I'm a fan. I absolutely love Sweetie. I think Sweetie is one of the one another pretty girl that's in the industry that does that's very unproblematic. That has her own wave, doing her own thing. She says she made pretty girl music because there's so many ugly girls in the game, and she just wanted to be, you know, make sure that she stood out. And I think it'd be amazing if she was to ever clink, look up with Nicki Minaj and do pretty girl music, right? Period. Yeah. Ooh, that would be a dope. That'd be dope collab, in my opinion. But I just read somebody comment. I just wanted to say no. She did not do anything with Offset that was not for her. That was allegedly for Uzi. Move on. Well, no, they're saying that that's still true. Now, what, what you guys have to understand, and this is what I wanted to say before we go, Sweetie announced a new project, okay, that she will be releasing tonight with six songs on it. So just because you guys hear one song with 
baby. <laughs> there might be one for Cardi and Offset, okay? Six songs. Six of them. Come on now. Y'all already know. Y'all better do the math. Y'all know how to do probability. Y'all wouldn't if y'all never took um, what's this? What's this damn? What is it called? Algebra. No, it's not algebra. Basic math. It, it might be basic math. I think it's called. No, it ain't copy. I don't know what it's called, but I just know y'all make sure y'all go and support the Icy Girl because Icy Girl is very, very unproblematic. And she told the dude he wasn't busting. <laughs> y'all, she told y'all, she told little baby that he wasn't busting. She was also letting y'all know. It's ratio. No, is it called statistics? It's, it's statistics. It might be statistics. It's statistics. Yes. Um, but. She already told, listen, I'm telling y'all, we just got to see what's going on because y'all, 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 sweetie is, man, I love cancers. It's something about y'all cancers. This is what y'all have to understand about cancers. They are literally every sign when they're mad. They can be any sign there is when they are mad. Okay. Just like you want to stick your finger down there to go uh, let a crab get you. Then don't, don't be sitting up there talking about it because you can step on it, okay? You're still going to run from a crab. You're going to run from a crab like you run from a dog. Talk about it. Okay? Just saying. Shout out to Weak Ass Faye. What's up? What's up, Cookie? What's up, everybody? Latavia in the building, Uniquely Fat, Stephanie, everybody. Y'all shout out to everybody. Shout out to all of y'all for, you know what I'm saying, joining the show today. We really do appreciate it. Now, this was a time where we kind of get into... Um, some of the comments okay i want to do the comments thing real quick because i want to make sure that um i love you too jasmine uh i want to make sure that we have you know everybody have their little comments about all the stuff that we talked about today because a lot of people had the comments about beyonce we didn't get to get to it so jody said hey y'all you know what i went back and looked at the video of filling myself Nicki minaj is spelled with not an e on the end okay babe you need to make sure you don't put an e on the end okay okay Make sure you don't put an E on the end, Jody. You a Libra. You smart, girl. Don't put no damn E on the end of Nicki Minaj. She said, feeling myself with Nicki and Beyonce. That's not on YouTube, okay? And saw what y'all were talking about. Nicki was prettier than Beyonce, in my opinion. In my opinion. Jody, you are so right, okay? I told y'all that Nicki Minaj looked it way better than Beyonce, and that's the reason, in my opinion, why Jay-Z did not want Nicki Minaj standing next to her, all right? we And I can say, and this is facts. I was arguing with my friend who was also a Virgo, one of my old best friends. We were, she's a Virgo too. Her and Rello were going at me. Well, I think me Rello might've been on my side with the Nicki thing, but we were arguing about who did the best, the best at the title event. I told them that Beyonce looked at a mess. Nobody believed me. Nobody believed that. Be be everybody thought Beyonce ponytail was to the side. It looked good. But Nikki is the one that really, really looked at like the star out there. And, Nick, and she don't, she can't stand that. That's why she would never perform that song with Nikki. She know better. You better go perform with Megan. You better go perform with them other girls because it will not, you are not that spring chicken and y'all be a problem. I don't even think he ever was. Because everybody always said you can dance, you can sing very well. Now, that's one thing you can't take from Beyonce. Singing is her gift. But dancing and acting, I'm going to pass the mic to Rello. It's not for her. It's really that simple. It's not for her. But I listen. There's no uh, female dog that's on the well that's in the rap industry right now. Well, besides Sweetie, that's in the rap industry right now that I feel can stand next to Nicki Minaj and they both give pretty woman energy. Like period. Like even even features like what Nicki did with um. Carol G. Carol G is a beautiful woman, but Nikki look better. You feel me? Like Nikki. Oh my God. Just thinking about her. Nikki is a beautiful woman. You feel me? So a lot of these women cannot stand next to Nikki. And in my opinion, I feel like that caused a lot of insecurities within their mental. Hence to why a lot of them know no longer try to do music with her or you feel me? They just act like they want to shade her or they just use her for that it moment or that it factor. You know, I feel like if Sweetie said next to Nikki, we're going to see two beautiful women up there. And nobody's going to be like, who look better than who? Because both of them are beautiful. It's beep. Okay, yes. Beyonce, is she's okay. But Nicki Minaj is very beautiful. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, Beyonce, you know, I, and I'm not throwing no shade, okay? Me throwing shade, just not something that I do. Beyonce has been giving this beautiful title 
so long that I've always just been like, hmm, she's not that cute to me. She looks very much so like a regular girl. Like I can I can show you so many Beyonce's. My my sister looked better than Beyonce. Like what? Come on, his sister looks better than Beyonce. Why would I think she's the baddest bee in the world? Are you crazy? I don't think my sister looked better than Nicki Minaj. No shade. No I shade. Think my sister looked better than Nicki. No shade. But shit. I mean, Nicki is a beautiful woman. And hell, if I if I thought that my sister looked better than Nicki, I would say that. It ain't even no shade or no tea. But Nicki is a beautiful woman. Like it's like she aged backwards like real tall it's like she got the uh what's the guy named the uh gym button effect or whatever his name is like she just aged backwards and it's a beautiful outstanding thing to see you feel me and my sister she's beautiful too but she's just not like oh no we're not gonna do that his sister's gorgeous no i'm just saying like sending i i my sister's beautiful but i y'all know what i'm trying to say his, his his sister is is absolutely gorgeous she's stunning just like Nicki minaj but what we're trying to say is that um, Beyonce is just not that cute to me, okay? Y'all go, y'all can say what y'all want to, but this woman is 39 years old. Nick, what's not be Beyonce is only a year older than Nikki. So we're not talking about Beyonce having moles all down her neck, but y'all want to talk about Nicki Minaj being on stage? Y'all like what? Y'all wonder why y'all ain't seen Beyonce on stage? <laughs> That's what you need to worry about. Worry about y'all own people. Stop worrying about because if we really wanted to talk, we could really talk. And we don't talk about Nicki. We don't y'all don't talk about Beyonce looks. And y'all don't get into Beyonce enough. Like y'all just look past everything that Beyonce doing. Y'all just be like, oh, she's a queen. Queen of what? Sitting in the back singing off a backtrack? Like, let's talk about it. Beyonce head is so full up her butt right now that she feel like if she just come out with an album, even though she's been gone God know how long. She don't want to give us a visual, but she will promise y'all a visual. Like, if I was a huge fan of Beyonce, I would not like that because that means that you're just willing to tell me anything and you're not moving on action. And I'm not with it. Yeah. The reason why, and then for all of the bees in the chat, if y'all want to know, okay, well, Michael, they talking about, okay, Michael, let's move around. We, well, I'm sorry, Michael. I'm just going to let you know, I'm not a fan of Beyonce like that. Now, I know all of her songs, but I'm going to tell you the truth because they are too scared to, okay? Beyonce is just not that girl, okay? She might have told you that in her song, but she forgot to give you the video. <laughs> That's it, she right? might have told you in the song, but because the album flopped in her eyes, not in our eyes, but in her eyes and in Parkwood eyes, that album flopped, so you will not be getting a visual album. Just saying. And, and that's the truth. Like, I mean, it's no tea, no shade. Like, this is stuff that a lot of y'all Beyonce fans, beehives, y'all try to look past and like, and just try to give her that, that acting like, like, oh, she that girl. No, Nikki's that girl, okay? Like, why is it, why, why is it a such distasteful taste when it comes to Nikki like it is so weird but y'all give everybody else their conglomerates and y'all make them feel like they're gorgeous and they're this and that when in reality Kelly is better <laughs> but Michael what you gonna do if I don't stop though Michael LaShawn what you gonna do if I don't stop like we that that gotta be the question of the night that gotta be the question I'm gonna end with Cause this is what I would ask somebody in my face that was sitting in my goddamn room and telling me what I'm gonna talk about, how I'm gonna talk about. This is the same way I'm gonna talk to them. So I'm gonna talk to you, cause I fuck with you, I, but you my people, I love you. But let me tell you, you can never tell me. You talking about, yeah, you better sit there and eat your food, chat. I'm gonna give you a nice little chicken sandwich with some fries, and I might, and I might we if we go to Popeye's. If we go to 81st Deli, okay, Michael? Yeah. If we go to 81st Deli, okay? I'm going to get you a chicken salad that's going to be superior. And I want you to sit in your corner and eat your damn food. And be quiet. And, and shut it up and throw it away. You got it, Michael? Dip it and throw it away. Throw I don't want to hear you do the mumbo. Do you hear me? Hey. Now shout out to my Michael LeSean because he love him some Beyonce. Yeah. Hey, we love you. The cards never lie. My last breath of sigh. If I think... No, 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 no. No. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go. Good. Just let me be. Like, I mean, we like Beyonce too. You sweetness banging like a faucet, body banging no corset. Brothers wanna toss it, niggas mad cause they game in a okay. thicker than a fourth is. I'm thicker than a Carmen Brown got the whole crowd speeches. I stick to my thesis, I stick to my features. Brothers try to halt, but the game never reaches. And most of these cats is like the middle of peaches. Okay. See what you looking at? 
Come on now, you don't even know no Carmen. No, no, no. What no, you no. saying? I'm going to tell you something, y'all. I, I can talk my stuff about Beyonce, but guess what? I just, I love her too. I love her music. I love everything about her, but I got to keep it real. No, we was playing. Quite, quite. No, don't put Michael in the corner. Quite, quite. No. Michael, if you're listening, bro, Quite, quite, put you in the corner. Shout out to Loka. What's up, sis? What's up, Shout out to Loka in the building. Hey, Mike. If you listen to Quay Quay, she crazy. So when you come back in, don't get killed, okay? Now, she did put you in time out, but when you come back, because you eating your food, child, keep it cute and on me. No, you can talk. See, this time I did Beyonce, it's not Beyonce anymore. It's the truth. It's I mean, the truth. It, it's the truth. Like, she's not Carmen. She's not <laughs> Saucer Fear. She's not Beyonce. I don't know. She's not Find Your Way Back. She's not Formation. She's not none of what she used to be. It's like, when you look at Beyonce eyes, it's like she's really drained, in my opinion. You feel me? It's like she's really over a lot of stuff that she never even really came out and really accomplished. And I've like been she... surfing off on knowledge, cat walls and cat calls, man, and these women getting silent. Okay? I'm just saying. Working nine to five, saying. just stay alive. Working nine to five, just stay alive. Now, David, 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 quite quite talking about David, you wanna go? We, Michael, we waiting for you to come back. We know you got 300 seconds, bro. And I'm waiting for you to come back so we can make sure we see your chat to make sure that you know you ate your food and you good. We just want to make sure you're good. I just want to make sure your whole chicken sandwich is gone and you threw all your food away before we leave. That's all. That's all. Can y'all drop the wrap snacks in the chat? All y'all should be eating. And you got your you got your high price water in the drink. What's up? What's up, Ken S? Y'all got your high price water in the um, for the emojis. Y'all drop y'all stuff in the chat. Show them the chocolate. Y'all can eat too. Yeah, y'all can eat too. And y'all ain't no thirsty. But listen, y'all, when I'm dragging them, y'all ain't got to block. Only block the ball. Only block Cardi B. Because Michael, he just changed his, He actually changed his name. So y'all just don't know his name. Or, <laughs> but he's a Shady Game member, okay? So he he was just playing, y'all. Y'all got to understand. I play with a lot of people that I'm cool with in the chat. Like, if I am if I feel like we got a little vibe, then I'll play with you. I, I kiki with you and all that. But just know, the moment you, I feel like it's disrespectful, you're going to hear the disrespect. But that moment right there, that was not disrespectful. That was me playing with him because he fun. But they fast with the black game. We, we, quay, quay, no. quay, quay, I just want y'all to know. My quay, quay, do not play. We try to give y'all this, that disclaimer. After y'all come in and y'all read the guidelines, just know that the moderator's fingers are very much so slick. And they will block them. So Quay, quay said when he come in, he got he to gotta apologize to mama. Mama, you got to look. Bro, when you come back in, okay, we got about two more. I think we got about two more minutes. When you come back in, bro, you gotta apologize to Quake Quake, okay? You gotta apologize to Quake Quake. Tiffany Love, get on you, gotta apologize to Tiffany Love. Until you become a moderator, because you are you almost there. Like, he's one of the people that's like almost yeah, about to be a mod. We're looking at you, bro. You didn't lost two points. Nah. <laughs> now you only lost one because he said I, he, he told me before before Quake Quake blocked him. He told me that he was going in the corner and he was going to eat his damn food. Yeah, that's what you said. But I mean, listen, y'all, we low-key do got a lot of these uh, B.I. people in our chat, you know, and they 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 have said it before, like they like both, you feel me? So they're not even really that deep, but y'all do know moderators don't play. That's all I'm going to keep saying. Yeah, we love Beyonce too. Don't get it twisted. Just because we come out here and we talk crazy and do all of that. I, I know every song that Beyonce ever put out. I even know the songs that y'all don't know. So don't ever get it twisted. Whenever I come out here and I give my opinion, just know if I love Beyonce and I'm gonna talk about her, just know that everything that I say about Nicki Minaj is how the F I feel. It ain't never me just doing it because I'm doing it for y'all. No, I'm doing it because that's how I feel. K-pop talking about child anyways. Anyways, K-pop, what you gonna do? K-pop, do about it. Anyways, what? What you gonna do? She had takeout. <laughs> no, she had her food. She talking about child anyways. She eat her food. Seriously. She eat her food. That's a takeout box. She eat her food and then they're wrong with it. So yeah, I mean, Quay Quay really just that girl. She don't play it. Beyonce got a son called that she's that girl, but in my opinion, she's not giving that anymore. Okay, so listen, guys, if we're able to come back tomorrow and all of that, we will be back tomorrow. But let me go ahead and tell y'all something. Make sure that y'all go and watch Nathie's video. There's a barb. Dude, put a one in the chat if y'all know who Nathie the Barb is. He drops some, some amazing videos. Go and watch his new video. I'm going to share the video on my community wall as well. Watch the video that he just made about Beyonce and Nicki Minaj's song and how it was snubbed on title and everything else because of the way it's the number one song that could have got, gotten away. Make sure y'all go and subscribe and go and watch that video because it is literally laying out all of the things that I was saying about that video and how that whole movement 
and how that video came out and how it was very strategically done so that Beyonce would not be seen in a light that she did not want to be seen in. I'm going to just say that. Beyonce do that a lot. When she don't want to be seen in a certain light, that's when, in my opinion, she try to come out and do certain interviews. You feel me? And, and say certain things like, if it weren't for, I forgot who really kind of exposed her, but it was on uh, 106 in part. If uh, that person didn't say anything about Sierra, Beyonce would have never came out and said anything about it. Like, let's talk about it. Like, I used to love Beyonce, you feel me? But as I got older and I started seeing how she moved in the industry and I peep how, you know, who her, I guess, corporate husband is how he you know do certain things too in my opinion i looked at her like she was a stronger woman than that so for her to let a lot of things go on especially when it entitles her name too i i don't i don't like weak people and that's just that's just our opinion y'all remember we can't change our opinion our opinion is only ours so listen um look, can you grab the let me um shout out the cash apps cash appers uh, before we go um, shout out to everybody that showed love to the channel. Shout out to everybody that was able to tune in to the beginning and hear my little rant and all of that. But this video will be going on members only because I want to make sure that this member is. <laughs> Wait a minute, he back, y'all. Michael is back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, Michael, Quay Quay said you gotta apologize to her because you know she said she she, she miss mama and you can't be Mrs. Man coming for her. I mean, the to quite, 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 quite he there. served his dignity, y'all. He, he served his 300 seconds. So listen, he don't did. ever say he didn't lay down for, for the, for the shady game. game. He, he did, laid down for the shady game. He did his time for the shady game and came back in as graceful as could be. <laughs> So shout out to my boy Michael. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, don't y'all gotta cut David and Michael some slack in the chat, Dave. <laughs> quite great talking about you better, chat. I love y'all so much, man. The Shady Gang is literally the latest motherfucking gang Asia. ever. Oh my God. Asia, you took the words out of my mouth. I do feel like when they first got together, it was a whole PR stunt and they started this imprint for everybody being in the industry to be with somebody that they really don't want to be with. Hence to why a lot of people have these NBAs. And I'm a little bit. talking about NBA, NBAs. NBAs. Yeah, my bad. NBAs. And I'm, I'm going to leave it at that because we all know Off Cheap don't want Cardi. It look like Jay Z barely want Beyonce. So, I mean, and, I, and guys, I want you guys to do me a big, big favor. And I want y'all to go and subscribe to my girl right here on the screen. Please go and subscribe to Constant, Constant, she said, Constant Cine, Constant Cine T show. All right. I want to, I'm going to tell you why, because we have something really, really special. I really, really, really would love to collaborate with her on some work. She has some amazing work on YouTube. Her thumbnails is out of this world. I just cannot wait to see her blow blow all the way up on YouTube. Like, I just cannot wait. I want to be a part of anything that she needs to, you know what I'm saying, grow her channel. So if it's her coming on our show, or you guys going over there and showing love to her show, uh, could you please drop your link in the chat so everybody can go subscribe to you? Also, go and subscribe to my Miss Lackey. Go and subscribe to the Angels. And also, who else is on here? Is there anybody else on here that's... A Go and subscribe to Local Libra. You need your laugh. You need a good old comedian with a little hat. With a little hat. I don't know how to do it. It's a little hatchet thing she got. But yeah, make sure y'all go and subscribe to my sister because my sister be getting into some things and all of that, okay? Go and subscribe to everybody that is on. Yeah, here we go. She already put, she put it in the chat. Y'all make sure y'all hit that link. And if you can, do me a favor. Say that you sub. Say, I sub. Say, I sub. Because I, it, I, it would be amazing for her to see that she has new subscribers. And it would be amazing for me to know that we are helping her out. And you guys are, we're not just saying that y'all are actually subscribing, okay? And shout out to Miss Gilbert, because I don't want to crucify your first name. Shout out to Miss Gilbert for the cash shop. And shout out to Miss Fairland as well for the cash app. We love y'all. Make sure y'all go subscribe to these amazing content creators. And also go subscribe to Rella with Depression. Okay. Okay. And make sure y'all go and subscribe to the beautiful house of the princess. She says she's a creator. Go and subscribe to her. Um, are you new here? She said I have a channel too. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uniquely, why are y'all just now telling me y'all have channels? Go and subscribe. Drop y'all links right now. What are you doing? What are y'all doing? Drop your links right now and go and subscribe to these content creators. Okay? Nikki Baby. Are y'all subscribed to Nikki Baby? Oh, go yeah. and subscribe to Nikki Baby. What's going on? Listen, y'all need to go subscribe to my wife, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, faster than whatever fast moves. Okay. 
quicker than us. Quick, okay. What are you doing? Go what? Ah, uh, yeah. Do it. I be damn cold. What you trying to buy a Hyundai? I mean, you smell this, Gina. You smell that. It's, it's, it's great. Y'all didn't look like y'all need a little buddy for today, ah. Oh, Keep up, bro. Keep about to graduate from college. On, Congratulations, bro. Keep up the phenomenal work, man. Once you get that degree, don't be a Megan. Okay. Yes, make sure y'all go and subscribe to these lovely channels. I love them so much. That's why they're always here supporting us. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to Couture Bay. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to Tea with Jolie. Make sure y'all, you have to stay subscribed to The Shady Game because The Shady Game got the same vibe everywhere we go. It don't matter. We're always showing love to the people, okay? I would love to catch everybody's live. Like, I wish I knew everybody's schedule. But we will be making that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make us a whole Shady Gang team. And we're going to have a whole team out here, y'all, where ain't nobody going to be able to go live on YouTube. Ain't nobody going to be able to drop a video because the Shady Gang going to be the took over everything, okay? You, look, uh, Nene could be dropping the tea, uh, dropping a video at 5. Somebody else dropping a video at 6, 7, 8. We go live at 9. More videos coming after that. It could happen, y'all. We could really take over <laughs> YouTube. Roxy, tell my brother before we leave, tell us we're beautiful, even if we're ugly. Listen, the motto is don't be different, okay? Always love and embrace yourself. And even if you ugly, you still beautiful. And even if you are a guy, you can still go to the store and get you some sex <laughs> and wash your clothes. <laughs> even if you are a dad, you can go to the store and get some sex and rubber dub dub and even get in the tub, you know? <laughs> you can do all of those things, guys. It is all in you. Love yourself, y'all. And I mean this, and I mean this, like I really, really mean this, everything that I say, because I told y'all when we started the show today, I was really mad because we received a strike on our channel, but God has allowed us to still go live and give y'all this show. And I would have been a fool to not give y'all this show. I would have been a fool to sit up here and be complaining. Oh, this. But I just told Rello earlier, I'm not a complainer. I'm a fixer, okay? I'm a, I am I can make a solution in five seconds. Literally in five seconds, I can think about what I am going to do in that, in that moment. If I got to run left or I got to run right, you know I'm going to do it because I've already thought about it. So LJ and Mook Mook is on us. They talking about where is the game night? And I'm so happy that you brought that up because it's like you guys are in my brain. Yeah, get out of my head. Get out of my head. I'm hearing voices in my head. They're telling me. I forgot how that song go, but there's voices. It's a, it's a, it's the other person. Melodies. Yeah, da, da, da. Da. I know what you're talking about. Yes, F that strike, okay? I'm definitely going to fight it. We will be, uh, everything will be back good. I said the strike will be, you know, gone in, fe on fe in February. I just have to do like a little strike thing. Um, I'm also going to be emailing um, whoever sent the strike and all of that. And I'm going to be removing a lot of videos, guys, and they're going to be in um, on private. But we're just going to be dropping newer videos so that you guys can see. And I'm not talking about my monetized videos. I'm talking more about our lives because of the music that are in our lives. So I will be removing. So if you've been looking for a lot, it probably won't be on there. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to put it in a playlist. And it's going to be... Thank you so much. I'm over here just seeing all these super chats. Miss Parker said, wash your anus. Don't be a bad fee, Simone. Yeah, don't, and don't be a summer walker either, okay? That is not cute. Don't be taking these quick bird baths. Shout out to Helen Wong. Shout out to Ms. Wong. Shout out to Ms. Parker. She said, watch show. Hey, don't, don't be B. Simone, because B. Simone says she only take baths every two days. And I'm going to tell y'all, that's nasty. That's how you get at the, the T.I. See, that's being different. That's why I say don't be different. That's being different. Don't be different just simply mean always be you. Always be amazing. And like I say, even if you're ugly, you're beautiful anyway. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Not um, King Ludger said, August, are you and Black Tea uh, blog doing another video? Listen, I wish that y'all, I wish that we could record just how we talk to each other on a regular basis. Because that, that would be a damn video, okay? Literally, our conversations on the phone, because I hate, I, I really cannot stand people that be like, that think that Black Tea blog is just like this. You know, she is a around the way girl. Like she literally has the same vibe that August and Rello have. Like y'all don't understand. August and Rello would not even have our, like we wouldn't even be, of course we would be our, our personal self, but the energy that we bring to YouTube, 
I just really want to thank Black T Blog and Laron for that because they really made us comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Getting on here and just being that. Mob Radio gave me that visual to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? This is how you take it to the next level and you can be yourself. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I want to just I want to just say that. I want to just put that out there so that you guys understand that I always give props where props is due. Props is due to those people because they are the people that paved the way for me and Rello. And we appreciate them so, 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 so much, period. Even though I don't talk to one of them, I still appreciate them. Yeah, shout out to the one that we don't talk to. You know, uh, that person actually made me get the mindset of realizing, the mindset of realizing, uh, you know, not to really doubt myself, especially when it comes to rapping. Cause I used to be very critical of myself, but now I just flow like the, ever, the everlasting river of Jordan. Right. Well, me and Leroy, we actually um, aren't as cool as we used to be. But Momo, I'm actually, we got so many videos together. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna actually send you, I will share some of the videos in the membership um, of, the, of some of the lives that me, him and Black T Blog all did together when we first started on YouTube. Well, not when we first started, but when me and Rello first started, um, I got like three videos with, maybe it's two that we did with him, Leron and Black T Blog. And, um, and, I'll, and I'll share them, you know what I'm saying? But who's to say? Leron is an Aquarius. He's very forgiving. We seem to get into it sometimes, and sometimes we make up. You know what I'm saying? So who knows what can happen? You know what I'm saying? I can't even say that we won't do a lot together. I can't say that because Leron, you know what I'm saying? He do his thing. But if it ever comes up, it will. Momo, I promise you, you'll be the first one to know. But y'all make sure y'all go and subscribe to everybody's channel that I talked about. Make sure y'all support the Barb's on YouTube. Make sure y'all go and support Rello with the Shadiest Tea because we will possibly be using his channel as well to go live. I think we're going to do um, game night tomorrow. Okay, so let me go ahead and get into game night. This is Laurent Ben, MIA. Well, uh, House of Princess, I'm from Detroit, but I was born by a little river in the shack. He was born by the river. He was shaking that ass. Nah, I was born by the river. I was popping that dick. Hey. Hey. I was flipping the good. <laughs> Yes, um, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and Rello is from Michigan. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, um, yes, guys, members, we are going to be doing a new video, okay? And new video things that we're going to be doing is, and this is starting next week, but the game night, the trivia night will be tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. So, make sure y'all do not miss game night, okay? Members, moderators, moderators, if you do not have a membership, you will be getting a link. And I will have that link. And when I send you the link, you will be able to join the live and, you know what I'm saying, be able to interact with everybody that is members only. And a shout out to all of the members on this channel. You know, you guys were going to be receiving a really, really great treat next week because we have this new show that we're doing called Top 10, okay? And we're going to be talking about the top 10 fights of this, the top 10 reality shows, the top 10 this, top, whatever we're going to, whatever top 10, we're going to be doing that three times a week on the membership. So you guys are going to uh, love that. We also go do the uh, top 10 new male and female artists where we're also going to write their bars, you know? So y'all make sure y'all be in attendance of that because this is really going to be really fun. Y'all think we have legendary shows. Now, this is something different, you feel me? And something we can really engage more because yes, we all love Nikki, but everybody still watch different stuff too. Yeah, especially the Ratchet TV, okay? We're going to be getting into Zeus and all of that. All of that. But the House of the Princess, I think I remember you. Your name rings a big bell. Okay, like, ding! Like, that's how, that's what it just came off of my head. Because I remember seeing your name, right? But I want to make sure that you are the right person. Were you on a panel um, with All About the Tea? Because if you were, then I do know who you are. Because then I, I think I've had, um, I think I subscribed to your channel probably like last year. And that is you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, okay, well, boom. Yes, okay, shout out to House of the Princess. Yeah, I remember her when we had a very small channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All About the Tea. Yeah, she was on All About the Tea. I remember her um, doing segments with her and stuff like that. So yeah, shout out to you. And shout out to you for making it over here to the Shady Gang. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be getting into a lot of female rap celebrity tea this week. Um, yeah, it's gonna be going down. Oh, is that key luxury talking about let me gather my pennies for this membership? Well, you better get some quarter dimes and motherfucking nickels and become a Shady Gang member. Don't be different. Yes, and make sure that y'all, yes, become a member so that y'all can join that membership live. It's gonna be so lit, y'all. Already got the trivia questions written down. It is going to be fun. If you guys, uh, members, if y'all have questions, I'm making a post tonight. And if you want those questions to be a part of it, then uh yeah i want to i want a question from everybody one good question and i'm gonna write and you just and i'm gonna erase it as soon as it's done 
And then, yeah, we're going to start this show tomorrow. So at least everybody can have a head start to at least one question. One question, you get a head start. That's what I'm going to give y'all. And then next week, we're going to have a cash prize for the trivia winner. So whoever wins the trivia next week, you will be getting a cash prize from August and Rutherford. Okay? They said, what is the name of the game? It's called Trivia Night, y'all. Y'all know how Trivia Night go. Juju definitely know. Juju, you done been a part of Trivia Night. You done been a part of all the nights that we done had. Oh, Shout out to my Juju. All the mornings. All the mornings, okay? <laughs> Listen, y'all, I love y'all. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for making my day so much better. Um, I really do appreciate y'all. If something was to happen with the channel in regards to striking and all of that, then I will let you guys know we will be going live on Reddo's channel until next week. Or whatever happens, I don't know. Yes, it's going to be Nikki questions. You already know. It's going to be Nikki questions. So y'all better do your damn homework, okay? Do your homework. I love you too, Paul Ann. I do your homework, period. I'm not giving y'all no study guide either. You're not getting a study guide. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love y'all. Thank y'all for, you know, joining the show. And, you know, make sure you hit the like button. This video will be going to members only. So if you missed it, it will be streaming tomorrow on Rello's channel. Okay? LJ had a request for y'all. I've seen it. Oh, play my name. Oh, I'm not. Listen, I would, boo, but I can't play no. I'm not going to play no more music until next week. Like, that's just, I can't. Like, I can't. King Luxury, I was supposed to be recording today, but i probably record maybe this weekend. So, yes, we got new music coming. I promise y'all, we got new music coming. Shady Gang, we love y'all. We are out. Bye.